Welcome to Learning Buzz. We're looking at customer service and what I want to give you this week is a really effective tip that I have found works exceptionally well with customer service teams, particularly in helping them to understand their internal customer, the people that they give stuff to, the people that give them information and the stuff that they've got to process. And that is the very simple concept of role rotation. You know, until you've walked in somebody's shoes, it can be very difficult to understand their perception or their perspective on any given situation. If you in customer service would actually take the time to go down to dispatch, to go up to accounts, to go out to operations, to go out on the road with the salespeople, what you'll begin to discover is that you will find a totally different perspective from the one that you will have sitting at your desk answering the phone. If you've never done role rotations before, my strong encouragement to you is to pick the roles that you engage with the most and go and spend even a morning with them or a couple of hours over a couple of weeks so that you begin to experience what's it like when dispatch is really, really busy. What's it like being on the road as a salesperson? One of the great things about being on the road with a sales rep is you actually get to see things and you get to see customers that you've only ever spoken to beforehand. Oh, and yes, I know it's going to be really weird because you see somebody and you go, that's not what you look like in my mind. But it's fun meeting them, okay? It's fun engaging with them, seeing the spaces they're in, getting a better understanding of their work environment, their work area. When we take the time to understand our client, to go and see where our client is at, both the external one and our internal ones, we develop more empathy. And when we have more empathy, we can care more, we can be more understanding. It is also important, however, to make sure that you get your team to come and do the same thing with you. Come and actually get them to come and sit alongside you while you do customer service. I remember once an accounts person went down to a customer service team that was particularly busy and she after didn't even make it to morning tea. She was like, I just don't know how you do this job. There's just so many phone calls coming in all the time. There's always noise, there's always stuff happening. But it gave her a really great appreciation for the kind of pressure that customer service can be in all of the time because that's the nature of the role. So your action point, either to invite somebody to come sit alongside you for an hour or two or a morning and or to go and go out and visit the customer, see what the world's like in their reality, or go and do the role with alongside one of your teammates inside your organization. When we walk in somebody else's shoes, it changes our perspective and our perspective is our reality, so we can change our reality and have more empathy and show more care in everything that we do. Here's to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz.